Uh, hi, this is the developer commentary for No Man's Land. I, I just realized that I'm gonna have to listen to fucking... Actually, wait, no, there's audios in the lobby. But this is the developer commentary for No Man's Land. As you can tell, there is zero scripting in this, just like the other two developer commentaries I did for Star Savior and Luscious Garden for Shattered Worlds. So... This has the same exact kind of vibe as those other two developer commentaries, where I just ran about shit about the project. There is zero consistency, there is zero structure, I just play the thing I made, and that's about fucking it. So, uh, well, let's go a further ado. So, this music, I actually don't remember the name of it, but... Uh, perfect plug uh, You will find the name of this song and every asset used in this project if you go into the no man's land tab in my discord server And that discord server will be plugged at the description and the video So if you go Through that link go into the discord server go and look for the no man's land tab and every asset used in this game Will be in there. So if you want to know the name of this song Go into the fucking tab. The, bro, I thought the fucking seat, the seat's so fucking like vent to black. I thought fucking, it was like a hole in my screen. Okay. So, this uh, text box, this, how this text works, was originally designed from a really, really, really old project of mine that you cannot access because it, the plot that it was used on got changed and shit. But it was basically like this little detective type, LA noir type uh, thing where you'd go through and interact with people. I really, I thought it was kind of cool. If you see it now, it's gonna look really old, but um, I think I actually mentioned this in the, uh, luscious garden commentary maybe where you first walk through a bar and it's there's like a piano guy playing billy joel's piano man i know very subtle <laughs> guy playing a piano playing piano man it's like this little bar and it had the black and white filter on it and the how the text box and you would go up to a person and you get put in a little box, just like this, and it'll have text right here, and then there's a text option right here, and a text option right here, and then you walk to the uh, text option, walk through it, and that'll be like talking through it. This is supposed to kind of mimic your RPG text system. Let me get a drink of my water. Mmm, slurp juice. Ow, my fucking sweet tooth. Owie. And you get a fucking root canal so you walk through a text speech blah 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 and then it would act like you said something so uh all of these text boxes were originally going to have voice acting now that got cut not because i was embarrassed to talk in front of a i was gonna say talk in front of a camera to talk and be like obby creator voicing like not because i was embarrassed but because of roblox's complete roblox roblox completely naying all the audios and how it works and i was originally gonna be like okay i'm going to upload these all to like obby creator music group or my roblox group excellent plug nice segue looney oh thanks looney nice segue then I was going to make, like, say, like, you have to join this group to hear the voice acting. But because, basically, that got patched, um, I can't do the voice acting. And that really fucking bums me out. Because I was so excited to do that. And every single box of these were gonna have a, like, it'll be like, <sighs> there really isn't any hope, is there? Okay, that was shit delivery. But the point is, every time you walk through it, there'll be, like, you know, I'd say shit. Excellent voice acting from me there. <laughs> Fucking cold read moment. So, 
I just wanted to mention that. So this, uh, those three little text boxes is kind of like the first ending. I kind of wanted to have like a like a joke type ending, you know. So I don't know. I just thought it was a nice little detail. I'm not gonna go through all the text boxes, but TLDR. Wait, shit. Fucking TLDR is you go through and be like, "Hello, I am trapped in Lamal," and you'll be like, "Okay." okay and then you're gonna be like i'm gonna save you man so this map let's go with this map so this map used to look way different now if you probably realize this kind of looks like a google maps map and it took <laughs> it's not exactly a copy and paste but i literally while making this image well yeah this image i literally used like uh, the exact same colors from the Google Maps, and I tried to kind of mimic it. Ironic for this, uh, alternate realities timeline-ish. It's all fucky. Don't even ask me. What's the timeline for this? Like, the Sand Apocalypse. What the fuck is the timeline? The timeline is Lamau. Plot convenience. <laughs> Fuck you. That's the timeline. So. Uh, I kind of want while I made this. This room actually used to be bigger, let me, can I, okay, yeah, this actually used to be way bigger, wait, yeah, this is on the grid, so, the mattress used to be kind of back here, and this shelf used to be kind of back here, but I kind of thought that it felt a little too spacious, and it didn't go for what I was looking for, and I wanted this to feel like the protagonist, kind of, the protagonist is kind of nameless, ish kind of name ish there's technically uh, gamer gamer spoiler warning but there is a text box that says that the character you says riley now i picked the name riley because riley is kind of a uh gender neutral name liberal speech like a gender neutral name so you really can't say what gender the protagonist is supposed to be and i wanted the protagonist to feel very blank slady a la no and not fallout 3 kind of like fallout new vegas uh any rpg <laughs> really most glitch glitch moment huh i never realized that find something new every day you know what? Fuck it. That's staying in. Fuck you. So, I wanted to feel very blank slady, but I wanted to give the protagonist a name is because if people wanted to kind of name this about this character, like, oh, you know, Looney's No Man's Land, and like, oh, the, uh, the protagonist, blah, blah, blah. They don't have to say the protagonist. They could just say Riley. So, canonically... The person that you play as name is Riley, but everything else that they do, like, say, talk about, that's all up to you. Kinda Fallout 4 with Nate. Or woman. What the fuck was the Fallout 4 wife name? Nora. I was named Nora, that's what it was. So, technically, they don't really have a personality. It's whatever you choose, but they still have a canonical name. So that's why I did that. So, uh, I kind of wanted this to feel very kind of ambient-ish. So, the more I walk away from the generator that's making this humming noise, you know, it gets quieter. And then I come up here, and then, you know, light humming. So, a very distinct choice I made was is to not have music. Well, ish. The only places that have music are the menu and I think the all the radio scenes with the person on the other end. So, yeah. Uh, I wanted a donator tab because I realized that when people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's my name," <laughs> bro. What a what a nice. Oh, <laughs> it's such a nice name. Uh, it's supposed to say good block 78 
um, I can't fix that. Uh, it just kind of Roblox, uh, decides to do its autism spurts if it wants to actually say the proper name of something. So, sometimes I load up the obby, and it says it perfectly, and other times, it doesn't. And I'm not gonna make... Now, I could technically kind of half-ass finish it if I make, like, an image, like... An image that says goodblock78 on it then put it on there but like say if another person donates now i have to make a whole nother image wait three and a half years and put it back on and then by the time i do that who knows maybe it's fucking outdated so i'm just gonna type the name in and if it doesn't work it doesn't work and hey if you're complaining about the name at least your avatar would still be in the window shit in the window shit um, this wall is kind of like the credit, yeah, the credits. I, this is mostly, I would consider this a solo project, but if this is a solo project, why are there, you know, names on here that has credits? Is because all of these people helped make, like, models and shit like that. So, all models and... Like, Jack, well, Pinead made fucking, I forgot what he made, but he did do something. I know he made something. Same with Melon. Melon made boosts that are in uh, No Man's Land Part 1, and if I remember that, I'll point them out. Lord, there's a... This painting frame is from Lord, and the radio model is from Illuminality. So, they all helped make it, and they're the closest things to people working on the project. Now, these two names, ugh, these two names down here are supposed to say AA321 and Henry34. Now, why are they listed? Now... Henry technically didn't work on this project at all, but he worked on older versions of No Man's Land that I used to make that was actually on this plot. And if I remember, I'll make kind of like a prequel developer commentary. I'll probably name it the developer com uh, developer commentary, the prequels. So I'll probably make that after this. So he worked on those older versions, and since he was kind of so vital to No Man's Land in general, I still think he needed some type of credit. And AA, he helped make kind of like a zipper image in No Man's Land Part 2. Again, let me get another sip of this chug juice. Chug splash. Slip juice. So, that's why they're on this board. And this level tab is just a little thing where you could go type in, fucking, and load up the next plot. Uh, there used to be an older JPEG for this, but I replaced it. Uh, 3.5 is never going to have a proper screenshot like uh, 4, 3, and 2. And five but to be honest the reason why it's like this is right now it's because i just forgot to take the picture for fiverr right now so when this launches that will be fixed and probably the same with the thing in the basement even though i said i'm not fixing it i'll probably fix it later hopefully if i remember <laughs> uh if you remember from the developer commentary for star savior these are the exact same images just fucking C plus feed them over to here. So, yeah. So now... Oh, yeah, this. This is a little funny... The merch, you know, consume, consume product. Give me your money. Please. <laughs> please. Please give me your money. So, yeah. Skadoosh. Now on to part one. Where's part one? Part one. 
Okay, here we go. Come on. Music? Is there no music on here? Oh yeah. So these are these little uh, menu things are designed to be looked out in first person. So if you just scroll out, then you're gonna be like, what the hell is this? But you know, fuck it, whatever. It's there. Um, I keep forgetting to add an image for this. It's supposed to say welcome to Birchwood. Each uh, level entrance has its own little box to see. And I keep for, I need to make an image for that is because for some unforeknown reasons by fucking Cthulhu is images load way faster than text. And when most people are probably just going to walk in this and then click on the play button, it's kind of weird to just have this blank sign just sitting there menacingly. So I'm going to make it say, welcome to Birchwood as an image like how these are instead of text. God, I need more slurp juice. Fucking burped up breakfast. <sighs> Ew, it was like taste of my cash brown in there. Mm. I'm almost out of slurp juice, man. Bruh. Okay. So this box is basically to help make sure the fog loads in. Ew. Ew, it's like fucking... Ewe. Ew in my throat. So that box is basically to help the fog load in first. Um, this fan, same with this list, is to kind of help visualize what you need. So you need water, cans of food, and gasoline. Now if we go back in here, we could also go through the instructions tab, and this says everything out for you. Boom. Okay, back to where we are. Now let me uh, say the thing about the boots before I forgot. Melon, uh, poison melons, or melites, or fucking melon floof. Same guy. Fucking metamorphosize. That's why I have so many names. Um, he made these models for the boots. I think they look good. So, yeah. He made those. Credits for credits do. What the hell? Oh my god. Huh. Well, it's weird. Uh, these are kind of, this is supposed to feel like kind of like a stock diner type thing ordeal. You got the fucking, um,. fucking those you got the 50 candies posters then these are the same posters that were in one of the old versions of no man's land that is not like this on the same plot on the same loony guacamole plot one so don't go looking for them because you can't find them because if you go into the plot where it was it's going to be where the hub is so we get click on this little gamer can so you might have heard a little 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 dinky doodle in your ear. And I wanted this to feel kind of as... Uh, fuck, I forgot what there's two versions of sound called. I think it's diegetic and in, in diegetic. I don't think that's what it's called at fucking all. But basically what it means is when you hear a sound, the, I think, in diegetic, I think, is that sound is produced from the world and... I don't fucking know. One sound is supposed to be external. An external sound would be like music overlaying, an audio stinger. Those are, I believe, endo I don't fucking remember what the names were. Basically, the sound is supposed to be like I pick up the can, and that also signifies that I have the food now. The can is the food, the water barrel is the water, and the gas can is the gas. There we go. Skadoodle, skadoodle. Your dick is now a ping pong bottle. Okay. Uh, I don't have much to add as. Look at this goofy ass mouse. Look at that goofy ass mouse. Ah. Oh. Okay. This is another little reference to Henry right here. Fucking. I don't know. Company needs to hire me with this graphic design. MS Paint 3D got <laughs> fucking blowing Photoshop out of the fucking water. 
So this little basement is just supposed to be kind of like a spooky uh, basement. Goes through like, oh, ah, it's dark. Ah! So you go through this little goofy all basement. And then you go here and then you and that makes a little, and that little sound is supposed to signify that the elevator is now good for use. Skadoodle. Now, when I, I had some people play this earlier, and people will say like, why can't I go to elevator floor two? And floor two isn't real. It's not real. <laughs> so, and all this really is, it's just one big button. So you just walk in, you click it, and no matter where you click on it, it's gonna do the same up and down motion. So, to kind of feed into this lie, I crossed out two and made it a little hashtag, so people will be like, oh, okay, I can't go there. And then they'll they'll click on three, thinking it actually, you know, would move up to there, but it's not real! <laughs> it's not real! <laughs> Okay, uh, let me do this. There's a little speed on tactic. So I realized you could cl uh, walk out and click this and then jump back down there and be like, oh, fuck, I'm stuck. So I made a little escape hatch at the very top. So then you could just go through in there. Get a little oh, dinky. I'm gonna get some water in there. So I'm going to show this because some people are going to get blown their minds, is once they kind of jump down, they're like, okay, let me just show you. Is there mean, like, they think, oh, okay, this is a Roblox obby. I could just, I could just, and they're like, oh, my God, I died. Ah! So to keep in with that whole kind of realism type thing is, I, there's basically fall damage. <laughs> yeah, I made fall damage. And funny thing is, is that fall damage little thing is only applies to this level and this little you have succumbed to the sand only applies for this level <laughs> so uh i think that's kind of funny yeah so there you go jump again boom 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 oh oh, oh my god he's flying skadoodle oh my god he's flying skadoodle and the skadash. Okay. So, but, so I already, but I think it's funny, is I already kind of established that, okay, realistic fall, uh, fall damage. So then, <laughs> fuck your logic. Fuck you. So, there are two, uh, audio cues that just played. First is the gas can. I just realized how fucking short this desk is midget over here so there are two audio uh cues that just played one was the car engine sound and that car engine sound means that you go back to the car you go back to the car and you finish the level and the gas can little sound means that you collected the gas i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say what this looks like you already thought it Skadoosh. Now, there was originally going to be a puzzle where you get a box from in here and you push it onto this and then it'll lift it up and then this ladder would be broken so you wouldn't be able to grab it from there. You would have to get a box on to then jump on it. But for some reason, button activated moving parts just don't do that. Like they just don't work. Well, they don't work. Okay. So basically, if I push a push block onto a moving part, I don't know if it's all moving parts, but at least for button activated moving parts, if I do that, the moving part just phases through the push part and it acts like it's not even there. So, yeah. Okay. So, the idea is I kind of wanted it to be like, Go back to the car, and you're logging in with the guy on the radio. So I open up the funny door, and I'm not gonna go through the rest of these text boxes because text 
boxes because it's basically the same thing that I said from the very start. I was gonna do the voice acting, uh, the old project with the text, the same exact shit. So if you wanna read them, you're gonna have to play it yourself. Okay, part two. Okay, skadoodle. So here we go. Get the little watchtower. Now, originally there actually was going to be a watchtower here, but uh, the things changed a little bit. So now the watchtower's there. And it's not here. Fucking come on, Matt Pat, think something out. I don't know. The fucking main character is going through fucking their schizo. <laughs> they see one thing, but it's actually another. So. Okay. So right here is kind of like a little farm little thing. It's a little wilted little farm. This is kind of supposed to show like kind of how shit isn't going well. I know. You needed this little farm to tell you that shit's not going well for humanity. <laughs> so, I'm going here. Grab the little gas can. You could have, you could have the sleep in the beds. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so here's these little documents. I'm not gonna... Actually, no, fuck it. I will. So... So, you might read that it says... 62 and this is transport security administration hold up wait a minute wasn't the tsa made after fucking osama bin laden took a shit on the twin towers well yes it was but alternate reality magic Ooh. and now the transport security basically means when every basically they check shit and this says Alex Duels. Now, the CIA's uh, fucking director, while wow, fucking, what was it? Not fucking, what was the one project? It's one of the shady shit the CIA did. One of the fucking 20 ones. Uh, the magic. What was it? The fucking, not black, black, what the fuck? One of the projects. This that has the they share the same last name with one of the projects of the CIA directors. So you could kinda be like he is the same last name as the the one CIA director for the one time that the one bad thing that the CIA did. The one of the twenty billion things <laughs> the CIA did. Uh MK Ultra. That's what it fucking was. During MK Ultra uh, the last name shared, they shared the same last name as the director, as the guy who did MK Ultra. That sounded really fucking uncoherent. <laughs> but, yeah. So you could be like, same family? Who knows? Uh, I just think it's a little fun little detail that, you know, corruption. So, basically, if you go through this, you can see through the times and dates that shit gets worse. They get more and more intense with the policies. So you can click on it and then you can read it. You know, I think it's I think it's neat. You can walk through here or walk through here. I'm feeling special. I'm walking through here. So this is kind of supposed to feel like a makeshift checkpoint. And if you notice, I did this very deliberately, on the map from the start, you cannot see this little checkpoint in here. Kind of implying that this was made after the map also implying that this was hastily made so here we go keep your hands raised while being proceeded through the metal detector and no the metal detector does not go off if you walk through it oh my god muffin cakes is playing castle crashers oh my god okay so get some water get some food Wait, get the water. What the hell? Wait. Got got this? I think I forgot to put in the, the gas mechanic. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't. So, 
the reason why that didn't go off is because if this gate is, you know, this gate is still closed, so the car can't go through. So you need something to get up here. This is what the AA did, is I made the little zipper decals for all this shit, but I wanted the zipper to kind of be on here. And I didn't know the fucking, let me, let me show you this bullshit. So if I go here, the image, wait, I think it's effects image. And there's image, image position. This shit is fucking magic. I don't know how this shit works. So I get an image, and then there's all this position and size bullshit. I don't know the fuck that shit works. Magic, dude. Merasmus is up to something crazy, dude. So, AA fucking, he knows this wizard bullshit. And he was like, you put in these funny, kooky, crazy numbers, and it gets it for you. And I was like, thank, thank you, my boy. Thank you. And that's why he's in the special thanks tab. <laughs> so we go over here. Oh, yeah. So if you might... <laughs> Let me just ignore that for a second. <laughs> so you might notice that this is kind of empty right here. I originally wanted to put in a firing range that would have kind of like little targets. But I actually didn't because of... Back when I made this, the part limit was about here. But now, since I got more part limits, I can actually integrate that now. So, for right now, when No Man's Land launches, it's going to look like this. But in later versions of No Man's Land, I am going to add add that uh, little feature. So, the reason why it's not in here is because when I was making this, no didn't have enough parts but now since i have the parts i can now add it but that is for later me to do <laughs> i'll get i'll get to that later just just wait so you jump up here and for the record no you cannot you need the box or the the luggage then you click the little skadoodle oh yeah i forgot to credit someone I just realized this. So this little microphone doodad is made by Syfax, and he gave me this model. And fun fact, this microphone is meant for the gummy bear. <laughs> so this microphone is ripped off a gummy bear microphone model. So I yoink that shit, and I put it in here. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's funny. Oh yeah, one last thing, is this broken little ladder is supposed to be kind of proportional to the break here. And another fun fact is originally you were going to get a box and there was another little ladder and you use this box to jump up to basically be like use something to grab a ladder to then put down. And there was also be this little thing here and the idea was I mean like the ladder broke, and people were like, I want to get up there, so they put a ladder up there. But it felt really weird to have this broken little ladder thing here, and then you have this another ladder here, and it'll feel really weird, and it didn't fit together. And I could prove this is because I still have the, invis the old invisible ladder from that. Let me... There you go. That's what it would look like. Wait, shit. I just realized I highlighted it all. <sighs> I'm just gonna revert it <laughs> later. Wait, can I just... Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Fuck me. I shouldn't have clicked off. Okay, I'm just gonna revert it when I get out of here. And then you're all gonna have to fucking wait 30 seconds to get the other because of my mistake. So... Another thing I wanted to do was kind of use a puzzle mechanic twice. So the idea is here for this, you use that box and you'll forget about it and be like, oh, I don't need it. But for this other thing over here is you need the fucking, what? That gate 
Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That gate is supposed to be closed when I enter this. That, that's funky. That's funky as hell. Wait a minute. Hold up. What? Searching cooldown. This is goofy AF. What? 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 Did it go down? Is this still here? What the hell? Okay. Okay, there it is. Magic. Okay, so it basically goes like this is open. But that door also has to be open. So you press this. You, you, you pr what the hell? Hold up. Wait a minute. What the fuck? I only ever. I only notice this shit when I do this. What the hell? What the fuck? Why? Why isn't this working? Okay. Yeah. Player activated. True. What the fuck? Hold up. I know why that isn't working. Okay. So, the reason why that was... Okay. So, when you walk in here, there's a button that activates... That basically lets all the machines work properly. Is because... And the reason why that says... Is when you load while in the obby, some of the machines activate prematurely. So, I need a part there to make sure none of the machines can work before... So, and that... Basically, that little doodad activates as soon as I walk through here. So now this is working. Okay. So I walk here, press, boom. Boom. So you'd be like, that's open, but that closed. I can't get out. Oh. So now you gotta open this. And then I get this fucking little box, this little doodad box. And then go, oh. And then you go, what the hell? And then you skadoosh, and then boom. And that's why that is a push block instead of a moving part, if you were wondering. And then you would walk through here, but because I didn't activate all the shit earlier, it's not going to work through. I... Almost forgot this. That was not intentional, I promise. So probably some of you would be like, bro, you're not gonna explain this little goofy all body? Okay, so this body is kind of supposed to be like, somebody was living here and it didn't go well. And I kind of picked, did that from, there's the water drum and there's this little gamer shack with the food. And the, the farm, the sad ass farm. And it didn't go well, and they were like, lamau, and they game-ended themselves. And there is supposed to be a shotgun. What the f- why isn't that there? What? Luck luckily, I had that in my pre-made, so I could just, could just add that right now. Wow, modern technology. And it would be like right in there now you could clearly see what happened well that's more clear okay so shit didn't go well and he was like he went a kablooey and then he just fucking blew up. <laughs> and then he fucking blew up so that's what happened um another thing i wanted to originally add was is you were able to bury him and you would click on this and then it'll get slowly covered up and covered up but while I'm making this originally I didn't I wasn't able to do parts so later versions of this you'll be able to do that and you'll have the the target so that's for later me shit actually another thing I almost forgot is is you're able to just walk through this. There's no like Easter eggs or anything. You're just able to walk through there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, that's about it. 
that, that's it. <laughs> You're just able to walk down here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now next to part three. Now, part three is my least favorite part. And why is it my least favorite? Is because it had the most cut content out of it. And you'll never guess why. Because of part limit. Ah. Oh. So, a lot of mechanics that I originally wanted in part three never happened. And I'm probably not going to add them is because it would so heavily modify part three that it would feel like I'm uh, just making a bonus level. So, some, I think the one original, the one idea that ended up really getting into it that kind of matched my vision is the the nene house where all these gamer guys get nene in here so i wanted to kind of so if you know this in here i kind of structured it like there was kind of like a struggle going on oh <laughs> yeah I, I forgot uh every couch i think in this besides one couch you're able to sit on, and I just think it's really funny how you can just, like, kind of sit here, get, like, a little selfie going on with this guy, <laughs> just sitting on the chair. I think that's funny. So he kept it in. Uh, nothing special on. Same sink, fridge, and oven uh, prop. And uh, the little drawers from the hub the no man's on top what the hell Who did i just get a message from oh shit it's the irs kong fuck okay uh, i'll deal with that later so these little drawers are from no man's land the hub actually no these are from here originally and i yoinked these to put into the hub is for that hub garage area because i thought it felt kind of empty and i knew these would look good in there. So, I just fucking... I yoinked them, and I put it in there. And you would think, oh, so, what is this generator from from here and I put it in the hub? Nope. This generator was from the hub, and I put it in here, and I also put it in part four. And I'll probably mention that later when it comes up. Here's a little, you know, how the garage schmooves. And ironically, I put it in here, but I didn't put it in fucking the hub. And I keep running you know, on be like i gotta do it and i keep forgetting so hopefully i put that in a later version so walk up here and here's uh lord's model no wait fuck i think i remember hearing that was melon's model eh, is melon or lord's model fuck it so go through here oh he got name it he'd be looking like the guy who points in that one wojack meme so i walk through here Look at this, look at this guy. Look at how he got nanaed. What the hell? He got headshot, dude. No way. So, here's a little mattress. And you know this, three matches, ma matches? <gasps> three mattresses, three gamer dudes. What are they living in there? Who knows? What the hell? And I kind of put it be like, oh, he, he heard gamer shots. And he crawled out the window. And then... Someone nay nayed him in the head. And I... I don't know, I think it's cool. And also, I forgot to mention this. It's a door right here. Kind of got blown off. Blown off. Blown off like it was shot off by... Shot off so shotgun. Oh my god! So, kind of the further put in that kind of... There was a break in. That killed a bunch of gamer people. Gamer people. Now, uh, this little house is, you could tell this is when I was fucking losing parts by the lack of detail in here. You walk in here, got a, a lot of shit in here. Yeah, this, this is like my least favorite part of, what the hell? This is my least favorite part of the game, is this house. So, 
I, I really don't like the house because it just kind of shows when I was starting to struggle. And I know why I was losing fucking parts. It's because of this, this fucking, these, I really liked how this, the outer house looked. I just really liked it. And to be honest, I still really like it. But, but, big fat fucking butt. It destroyed my part limit. And I tried to save as many parts in this shit in this fucking wall as possible, and I still, I still like how it looks, but Jesus, it fucking, it destroyed my parts, absolute destroyed them, so, yeah, this supermarket, uh, when I originally was making this, was technically also in it, but it was way different, uh, there was originally going to be kind of like a little apartment, building right here and you go from this little gamer house and about right here there would be like a little way to like jump through to the little like a hole in the apartment building kind of and you'll go up in the apartment and then you would push a box onto the supermarket and it would break a hole into the supermarket so then you would go down into the supermarket and then you would grab the food and you wouldn't be able to go through the doors is because there would be sand blocking it. And originally, the sand pile would be right in the middle, apartment right here, and the supermarket would go along here, kind of fucking cornered uh, around there. I don't know how to say it. So, you go through here, go through the funny little skadoo. And that's a little supermarket. So, this is definitely... When the fuck did I grab the... The water? <laughs> so, what the hell? I gotta fucking fix that later. Bruh, bruh. Okay. So, here's a little... Gamer detail. What? The price is... Bruh. Bruh. Roblox with the funny numbers. I think the number said 9.82? Can I look? Wait, shit. No, that's the fucking... Just take my word on it. So, those kind of be like... Oh, there... Okay, wait. Hold up. Wait a minute? Not censored. Censored. <sighs> Thanks, Roblox. <laughs> Thanks. So, so if you think price, look on gas pump. The price means how much it is for each gallon. Hold up, wait a minute. Each gallon, nine point eight seven, and they say the gas prices are bad nowadays. Ah 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 ah. So, it was kind of show kind of the how shit uh, pre funny Lamau sand has been getting into this world. That's what the point of that was. And the reason why it's 3.5 is, is because with the whole part limit thing is, I couldn't do the... I couldn't do the outro radio segment with all the other levels, so I had to put it into 3.5. Another reason why I don't like 3... <laughs> That's just fucking put it on the fucking board why I don't like part 3. You know, fucking Shrek 1 was good, Shrek 2 was good. Everyone fucking hated Shrek 3. And then we get Shrek, Shrek 4. Beautiful analogy. We don't have Shrek 5. <laughs> Shit, I guess this analogy is ruined. So, part 4. I really like part 4. Because all the things I wanted to do in it, I pretty much got in it. Uh, I am thinking on originally... You'll never guess. Originally when I made it, I had this many parts, so I wasn't really able to detail this cavern at all. But now since I got the part, I'm probably going to detail it more. And inside this house here kind of lacks a lot of detail. So now since I have the parts, burp, I can now start adding detail to this. Now, some of you are probably wondering, like, what the hell? This man be gotten like fucking barely anything in this fucking obby. And he got 3,000 parts. What the hell? 
I am very non-part efficient. And, like, each one of these little fucking cubes, I think, are four. And then you get a bunch of four. And this van is, like, 200. And each... And these bottles together is, like, 100. And remember, there's a little, like, water in it. So that's fucking... 100 plus 4, and then the cans, each little can in here is 10, and then there's 4 cans, so that's 40, and then the box, and since the textures has to go on both sides, that's like fucking, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, times 2 minus 4, because those fucking little rim shit don't need textures on it, so that's like fucking, like, what, 24, or whatever. So, the TLDR is... Every little thing got a fuck ton of parts in it. There's a bunch. And I know for a fact, Pineade or Jack worked on this truck. And you probably know him for making a lot better looking cars. And I'm aware of this, but you'll, you'll never guess why. It looks kind of low poly. It's because of part limit. Oh my god. But now again, since part limit can be... You know, I could do more shit with it. Uh, this maybe, this might, fat ass might get a redo. So this model was made with utmost trying to be part, affinity, part efficient as possible. That's why these wheels look like dog shit. And these wheels look way less dog shit. So, that's why. So we go through here. And be like, oh, we can't go through the door. Oh, well. Okay, so we go around, we crawl through the funny Lamau window. And same with this, I originally wanted to add some chairs, maybe some other shit. Blah, 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 part limit, couldn't do it. So that's why it kind of looks so bare. Yes, I dislike it just as much as you do. And I wanted to add more at the time, but I couldn't. Blah, 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 part limit. So, here we go. I made these, I made both of these models. Uh, now, why are they so big? Now, I am, what, average height? And I try to make all the things proportional. So, I'm like, eh, the, the fucking washer and the dryer is kind of tall. So, you know, make them both tall <laughs> for me and i say I'm, now everyone's thinking like bro is Lenny Guacamole a fucking dwarf irl now that i said that i don't remember my height don't don't at you don't even ask so i try to make it semi-realistic and now i have a point this out you'll never see it these little corners in here look goofy af i didn't know how to fix it now thinking about it, might be able to fix it, but that's for a later patch. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot. So go through here. By the way, there's nothing in there. Oh, so go through here. Grab. Again, bear. Blah, blah, blah. Part limit. Go through here. For fun fact is if you go out here and then do it real fast, you'll kind of fling out the window, and there's actually a little fade part that's right there and has a couple second delay so if you kind of mash that space bar as i expect you'll actually be catched so you won't fly out but if you you know kind of tease it you jump back jump back in and then do it then you'll fly out so that's a little funny little gamer detail Ugh, i gotta fucking type some shit in for a game that what the hell are they doing in there okay fucking game night announcements <laughs> I just did that. Okay. So, the reason why there are boxes down here, instead of... I originally kind of thought, like, okay, you would push boxes down in here. And, yeah. But I realized, hold up, wait a minute. So, if you need to push boxes down here, what if the player, like, lamows and just jumps in without pushing boxes? They're effectively stun-locked. Not stun-locked, soft-locked. 
they, you'd be soft locked. So I realized, ugh. So I had to put some boxes down in here. So basically, yeah, you're able to jump out. So you could just be like, skadoosh. Now, why are the boxes down here? Is because you would push the boxes over to here. And they'd be like, hold up, wait a minute. And there's a little hole in the fence. So then you would go up, skadoodle. And then you could go through the little hole in the fence. Now, originally, this hole in the fence was way farther back here. But I, oh my, I thought I just fucking, oh, God, Lord heavens. I thought I just fucking threw my mouse. Uh, the reason why it's back over there, not back, why it's over here, is because uh, for the player, it'll be really hard without knowing it to look back over there to find out. So when the box is over here, it's a lot easier for the player to be like, hold up, wait a minute. So if I need to go back over there, and for the record, just a thought, yes, I thought about it. You can't, can't, can't jump over there. No, you can't do it. No, I thought about it. Fuck you. So you go over there and you'll be like, hold up, wait a minute, there's a goofy old fence open. But you need to get something to prop you up, and then the boxes are there. So you push up over there. So we get a little water, and then we go in here. And the same theme with the whole kind of break-in type here. Is, you know, someone came in here and just pew pew them while he was schnoozing. Now, you all know this. I didn't mention this before, but every dead guy, yeah, every single dead guy in No Man's Land has this little fox badge on Bad, yeah, badge on it. Wait, I just remembered. That dead guy in No Man's Land Part 2, the one who, you know, splogged his head off with the little shoddy, <clears throat> AirPod shoddy. Fun fact, that model was based off an AirPod shoddy, heavily modified. That wasn't even intentional. I, that was just pure ramblings. Uh, that was from Melon, Melites, Melon Floof, Lamau, Furry. That was made by him, so that's why the fox... Uh, his character model looks different from all the other ones. And these all other ones will probably be changed to look more like Melon's version. So, there's a little... I think that's the only chair... The only types of chairs you can't sit in. So, here's another little radio. Same radio. So, go through here. Fucking... The water. I don't... Wait, I think the... Yeah, that's gotta... I gotta open that. So, uh, Henry... Henry did make something. Huh. Hmm. So, Henry technically did contribute a model. This is a modified model that he made for a different game. And I poured it over. And actually, fun fact, the Illuminalities model was originally made for a different No Man's Land kind of related project that I actually forgot about until right now. And that that gun is from that forgotten No Man's Land project. Actually, wait, I think you could still look it up. I think it's New Book Molly 8? Let me look. Yep, this bunker. And this fun fact, the whole guy radio same exact thing the concept from bunker has been taken over to this no man's land so in a way this is the same project ish kind of so but that was originally supposed to be a one obby and then this you know changed and the reason why this is canceled is because while I was working on it, I got picked up to do uh, work on Shattered Worlds. So then this got completely canned. But that idea was still in the back of my mind. Of the whole, guy calls you on a radio and you do the thing. Now, I want to address this. Is You might notice this a little bit. The guy, the idea of you're in a wasteland. Guy calls you on a radio to basically say... Rescue me for the gamer 
you know, gamer coin, food, guns, whatever, has a lot of similarities between the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners plot. Now, while I was making this originally, I didn't... Bro, what the hell? The IRS be texting again. What the hell? Wait, fucking pay my mortgage later. So, it shares a lot of story beats with Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Sin sitters oh my god sinners saints and sinners it shares a lot of story beats with it now uh the similarity very much there i'm not even gonna be like the basic plot it's definitely very similar but i think there's still a lot of differences between saints and sinners and no man's land you know saints and sinners zombie apocalypse uh no Man's Land, more uh, a la Mad Max-ish, kind of, with the sand. Not really Mad Max, only Mad Max via sand. <laughs> but, hmm, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's about it for anyone kind of accusing me of kind of ripping off uh, Saints and Sinners, but making it worse. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very aware of that, but, like, I don't care. <laughs> so here's another. What the hell is that lighting? So here's another little. Goes into the funny dialogue. I don't care. Just gonna. Oh yeah. I forgot to finish. The dialogue portion for part four. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm going to finish that later. Hopefully. I don't launch. No man's land. And forget to finish that. So, uh, while I was working on, the reason why that wasn't finished is because while I was working on No Man's Land, <laughs> I got fucking man-faced, jump scared for like one frame. Why did I stop that? Is, while I was working on this, I kind of had kind of like a burnout for a while. So, I kind of dropped it for like a little bit. I was not planning on canceling. I made, that was a very jarring fucking music cut i really wanted to finish this project and because i knew it would never really leave me and same with star savior is i never technically never really finished it and there's still a lot of things like uh even though when i said star savior was canceled i still made a world three for it and you can't and world three is pretty much done everything i wanted I also text the music. That's all done. And if you go to where is it? I should say W4 on it. There we go. And if you load up this, uh, that is the kind of like blueprints for World Four for Star Savior. So here's some Star Savior bonus cut content. That if I ever do finish Star Savior, you can play it early, I guess. So if you load this up, it's going to how the gameplay is, is exactly how it would probably be if I do finish uh, Star Savior, but without proper detail. So it's purely gameplay. So, yeah. You can load this up, and that's basically completely done. So, yeah. <laughs> that was just some off topic rambling. So. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Fun fact, I just realized that now, this is, doesn't have an instruction tab because there are no collecting things. This is supposed to kind of be like the climax area. You got to the final, the final boss. Boom, 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 boom. So, you could really see that this was designed with the voice acting in mind, and it really shows with the last of part five is because just when i was finishing part five like everything was coming along the fucking whole oc music thing just got fixed and i'm like oh my god so i basically fixed everything tailored toward me putting a voice acting and then voice acting got canned so this was designed for the voice acting in part so i'm like bruh so now i gotta do this whole shit 
with adding little text boxes instead of me talking. I said, and it, I think it really suffers. I think it really fucking suffers. And I'm bummed out. I'm really fucking bummed out. It really, it really does. So, before I get in here, originally, I was going to do it is, there would be a code for this little elevator. What? Why didn't that go off? What? Oh, because I no-clipped into it. Okay. So, yeah, I would just think of it like I said it, my beautiful voice. Thank you for uh, getting here. Just go to the 15th floor. There you go. That's the official line for that. So there you go. Clip that, and when you fucking record yourself playing this shit, dub, get me my shitty dubbing, put it over there. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, uh, so originally there was going to be a code that you would input, you would put like beep 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 beep, and you would find that out by going all the way over here, and then you would look through the window and it would say the funny code. Now, that didn't get canned because of, oh, because of Roblox, that got canned is because I didn't know how to properly input make a code type system now i know it's possible but kind of laziness and wanting a drive to actually eventually get this made i ended up cutting the feature so that one i can't blame roblox for that was that one i'm just gonna blame you know myself for being lazy and not waiting to properly do that so you could actually look in here and this is fully detailed, you got the little camera, and, wait, can you not see the text in it? Oh, what the hell? Uh, I did want a, I kind of wanted a foreboding, like, kind of like a soulless office type feel. So I have these, uh, ramblings of whoever was here with a, you know, achievement, a generic achievement poster. Kind of like supposed to feel like, you know, rubbing in that hopeless desk job feel. Get the little heater and the camera. Now, this is a heavily modified camera model from Mel Melites again. And it's the heavily, if you go to, let me look. This, this obby. If you go in there and there's like this little camera. And for the record, this is just like a backrooms obby. I didn't want to make it. But Melon was like, I'm begging, please make, please let me make a backroom zombie in your plot, please, I don't got any parts. So, I'm like, fine, whatever, and I let him do it, and basically that's what that is, liminal spaces. And he also made like two billion other fucking backroom zombies, and yeah. So that was, that was the start of Melon making a two billion backroom zombies. <laughs> I think he still, like, Legend says he still makes fucking backroom zombies to this day. So. Blah, blah, blah. I fucking, my fucking soul left my body for a second. So, this little logo here is, I completely just made it. I made it in obby creator i'm like logo design brain activate neuron i'm like i want kind of something that feels kind of like generic company but still feeling very fairly recognizable and i'm like i first made a name explore research define and that is kind of like a scientific type way of doing things where you know look out for things find you know look up something and then you conclude on what something is explore research and defined and this is supposed to kind of feel like a very aperture lab type building research and i am planning on doing way more with this building with this facility with this organization later hopefully i end up finish doing it and not with a whole uh project phoenix with a uh, luscious garden and for the record if anyone uh i think i've mentioned this in the luscious garden developer commentary 
is Project Phoenix is A, an Easter egg for Rick and Morty. Because when, when Rick die, he reincarnates as someone else. And he says, and the name of that uh, process is called Phoenix. And he names it in an f- episode. So, oh my god, Looney Welcome only watch Rick and Morty. He's uncool. Oh my god, he watches Normie shows. <laughs> so, um... That was a nod, and I wanted to kind of do a lot more with the uh, business boy, business oil boy, and I was originally going to make a whole bunch of AF1 type games, because at the time, I really enjoyed it, and I was going to just make, and actually, I think right after I finished Luscious Garden, I think there was like a couple months after I think I started working on Star Savior. It was on that same kick. And I'm like, I really like stars. I really like working on this. And I want to make a kind of like reboot type shit with it. So, and now Duck Agent. No, the Grinch. That's his name, I think. Whatever, Duck Agent. Now he's kind of working on it-ish. I think still I don't remember and you know on the topic of ranting about fucking Shattered Worlds I know uh, technically the Shattered Worlds remake is still being worked on and fucking development hell a la fucking Duke Nukem 3D <laughs> so will that be finished I don't know I don't fucking know do I hope it gets finished yeah yeah uh, I'm, I am a little bit salty, because, uh, I'm gonna make a little confession. While, originally, while Shattered Worlds Remake was being made, uh, I did, I was offered by Max to help work on Luscious Garden, but my pride was kind of bruised that I felt like my version was basically being tossed away, being replaced by Max's version, and technically that is completely fucking accurate uh if you go into the now uh shattered worlds remaster uh you know maximus uh maximus stars five or maximum g five i think it's five for the shattered worlds hub if you go there there is no way to access the previous versions of the world and that makes me go And I even mentioned this to Max that I think you should probably just make a sequel. And I I don't remember if some other people agree with me, but I I am still kind of a little peeved off about the whole... Basically, my version of Shadow Worlds is the only way to access it is remembering to load it up from the original. The original. And that makes me go... Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I did that same noise twice. So. I f- The elevator noise didn't play. That's so weird. Why didn't that not play? <sighs> oh, I, I fucking- I know why. I gotta fucking- There's supposed to be an elevator noise and button system, blah blah blah. Button jargon made it, so I have to rework it. Okay. So, I'd say this line. Now- This same exact mechanic with the whole light, dark maze is yoinked straight out of Feral's Falls from uh, Star Savior. Same exact fucking thing. Slightly reworked, so now the lights flicker instead of it being constant light, and there is no time. Like, I'm gonna, even though I made this fucking maze, it's still kind of hard. Um,. This, actually, I think, yeah, it's easier to do in first person because your character model can't block the light, is when people were playing this, like, kind of test running it, is people would get kind of lost, lost in the sauce. People would kind of get confused, so I wanted to put kind of like a landmark, so to help you more identify. So that's why that door is there. You cannot walk through it or anything. It's just to help you more identify where to go. And... I just realized more that my fucking my parents are my pa- my mom and dad are fighting so I'm talking about my project and Roblox. So uh the reason why 
you actually you can't see any light here and i wanted to kind of take you very much out of your comfort zone and walk into the dark and people will get kind of lost and shit that was the point kind of brew up that confusion make it more intense walk in here walk in here now this little hallway has a bunch of fucking buttons in it to do all the things so there's this little kind of stuffy <sighs> bro i think i fucking did a china moment and had like a bat in my soup and i think i got corona dude i'm drinking more slurp juice to cope so when you walk down here now i think this is way fucking ruined because of the whole voice acting getting cut so you walk down here and be like stop stop you violated the law and there's a lot of stuff i want to do with this now a lot of now this ending is not going to make any sense for right now and i'm very very fucking aware of it aware of it and there's a later project that i want to do to help make this make way more sense now if that project never comes and that is fairly possible <laughs> i will have later posting if i decide to can it or something in like the description or something explaining everything in this project but for right now i'm not going to explain this ending very much so before we go down so if we walk down here it's gonna open the door and then play the ending so and it'll be like stop violated a law i lied and it'll be like mm, i don't like this guy he, he's a liar and his pants are on fire so if you go back to you know fuck this shit i'm not i'm not walking through this shit again give me the there you go so if you walk back go up the bruh bruh Did, is it because i f wait what wait button Why didn't that work? That's so weird. Why didn't that work? Bruh, that's another thing I have to fucking fix later. Okay. So, walk through here. And I'd be like, I'm sorry. I lied, baby. I didn't realize. Oh, because, uh, I didn't realize that. So, basically, I'd be like, I'm sorry. I lied, babe. Take me back. I won't do it again. I, I promise I won't cheat ever again. So, if then you go back. And then... Uh, the ending screen is the same, so basically, you know, thanks for playing, and it's supposed to be kind of like, be like, you did this, you know, thanks for playing, that's, that's it. It's kind of feel kind of bittersweet, but I think, now thinking more on it, it feels kind of very jarring. So, now, let me show you what happens if you open, if you go through here. Now, another thing is you notice is that was really fast, and I want it to feel kind of like, what, what, what the fuck just happened? And I think it does kind of succeed in its goal. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think the ending is very underwhelming, and I know it's underwhelming, and it sucks it's underwhelming, but it's underwhelming because of roblox voice acting yeah you heard it two billion times from my voice and i'm upset i'm just upset as everyone else and me like i feel like i got screwed out of so much build up and it feels so underwhelming and i understand that and i know when people play this they're gonna be like that ending felt so under underwhelming i think i just said underwhelming like five times in a single sentence but that just shows how underwhelming it is. So, um, I'm, I'm bummed out that a lot of things that I wanted in this project couldn't happen because of things that were out of my control. And that makes me, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. 
So, uh, I'm gonna, you know, eventually make the uh, other developer commentary thing. So, uh, uh, bye bye. <laughs>